radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. Hey babes, and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into the sign of Pisces for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements, wherever you have the Piscean placement in your charts, you can apply this to. Before we get started, check me out on Etsy in the description below for your protection. That's the only place, the only way you can get a private reading from me. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and check out my free radio show and playbacks also in the description. Other than that, let's get into it, Pisces, see what you guys got going on. What are the messages for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? Mm, okay. protection that's good all right let's get into it you guys got a lot going on first of all you got the holy spirit that came out for you guys with expect miracles so tapping into this energy the universe definitely has your back the universe is definitely helping you out this week pisces remember that only love is real miracles will occur naturally spirit has your back so the universe is letting you know don't even worry about it sweetheart whatever happened the universe is going to come through for you. We have the Miriam with sacred vision. Uh, choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light and all. Remember that love has no boundaries. So the universe is basically saying, listen, no matter what, choose to forgive so that you can heal, so that you can move on, so that you can walk into your future. Don't allow people to hold you back with their self-limiting beliefs, with what they have going on, with their own limitation. Choose to forgive, choose to heal, choose to keep moving forward. There's more for you. And at this point, you always knew that there was going to be challenges ahead of you, Pisces. Pisces. So don't allow them to actually stop you. Now we have Mary Magdalene with Teacher Awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. So honestly, Pisces, I'm also feeling this as you've been wanting to do something for a while. Perhaps you're going viral doing it and you're getting a lot of praise, but the people around you didn't have very much faith in you. Or maybe you're wanting to start something, wanting to pursue a dream and the people around you don't understand or they just don't support it. What you can be confident in moving forward here, Pisces, though, the universe does the universe does have your back and there isn't anything that can stop you there's nothing that can stop you but you we have melchizedek here with higher learning um, you have learned from experience. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying before. Like you've, you've learned this at this point. You know what happens when you start to win. Stuff like this starts to happen. And it's like you're finally seeing the reward. You're, start, you're finally seeing some actual growth here, some tangible uh, wins occurring for you. So the universe is, is just saying, listen, Pisces. Um, you know, don't allow anyone to stop you. Um, but we have more inner study is required to further progress with Melchizedek so entering a new phase and honestly I was getting this energy I forget with who last week I feel like it was maybe Sagittarius maybe you have an important Sag placement as well but I was getting a message where it was like dang I just lost it I am too young to be forgetting things this quickly what was it it'll come back to me if it's important <laughs> it literally left as quickly as it came we have Rada um, with Soul Flame, rediscover a lost part of yourself, experience relationship, harmony, and healing. I know, I want to know too. I can hear someone's inner dialogue like, Brill, what was you going to say? Trust. <laughs> I wanted to say it. We have Kathumi with Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. So yeah, moving in here, it's going to be a little bit of an energy of you having to use your discernment. You having to really be wise. You having to really be tapped into your truth here. I just feel an energy of a little bit of a hiccup. Like someone's trying to get into your way. I literally just got this image of like someone running and someone coming in, in front of them like this. Like trying to, trying to guard them. Or whatever you would call it. I don't know. Sports term. Stupid cards though.
a better opportunity for sure. Yeah, you have an opportunity coming through, Pisces. And I, like I said, got this image of someone kind of trying to guard you from that. Let's see. It's interesting because the Empress kind of came out sideways here. So we have the Knight of Cups that came out first for you. This is definitely an opportunity. This is definitely you opening your heart again. To be honest, with this uh, Knight of Swords, I get this as an opposing energy. I don't feel your energy on this. I feel like this is someone trying to, and it's interesting because when you put the cards right by each other, they don't go in the same direction. They're literally fighting each other. They're going, um, they're going towards each other, you know? And I definitely feel that battle here, Pisces. I feel like someone is trying to, I mean, just look at the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords in itself isn't a, in a, isn't a bad energy because sometimes you have to be in a Knight of Swords energy to get what it is that you want. But this just feels like someone opposing you, trying to, you know, gum, come after you and, you know, swipe that cup out of your hand, knock it out of your hand before you offer it to someone else. This could be someone of the past. This could be someone who's just honestly jealous. Pisces, but they're trying to convince you and and kind of like they're they're trying to determine what your empress hood looks like. They're trying to say, no, this is who you are, or this is what you deserve, or you know, ugh, I'm 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 even hearing exposing. Okay, for some of you, this is someone that you've known for a while. This is someone you would consider a friend, but soon as you're kind of blowing up, soon as you're getting an opportunity, they're either coming at you like, well, you know you have this going on or you know this is this is tea with you you don't deserve that or they're trying to you know maybe tell someone who's giving you the opportunity something about you i'm definitely picking up on an energy of someone trying to knock you down before you really soar someone trying to convince you that you don't um deserve anything because of something that you know would be considered baggage maybe you have a kid or maybe you know there's something holding you back like just ridiculous and i i'm getting it from a pretty either familiar or intimidating energy. So this is either someone who's already in the space that you want to be in and they're just being kind of nasty to you because they see your potential, your ability to probably go farther than they can. Or this is someone you know. You know, and they're they're trying to determine they're trying to tell you how far you can go. They're trying to plant that seed of Pisces. You have this and this and this that holds you back. You don't have the best this and this and this. How do you expect to do, you know, all of these things? Or they're trying to tell you, like, bring up this deep, dark secret about you that will make you afraid to see your full potential. Trying to knock you off your game. Trying to convince you that everything you've worked for, you don't deserve. Ew. Not this energy. The fool in reverse basically trying to get you not to pursue your highest version of yourself. This could even be you deciding, you know what, I'm going to move. This could be you trying to plan like a solo trip or something like something just for you. And I'm, I'm getting this opposing energy of someone trying to convince you that you shouldn't do that. But it's literally because like something that has to do with them is projecting. There's so many things that it can be, you know. People feeling like they can't do it themselves. People just being jealous. People feeling like, you know, you shouldn't do that because maybe they're they're kind of boxed in in terms of their mind frame. Like, there's a million and one reasons why people will, um, you know, act the way they do. There's no point to even spend any time in this read trying to pinpoint what it is because it doesn't matter. Regardless, they don't have your best interest at heart and they're trying to battle you over something that is yours. So the universe is saying expect miracles. Um hold your vision um allow that that higher higher power to come through and and really help you out because queen of pentacles nine of cups in reverse someone is trying to convince you that you haven't done all the work that you've done or that you're just crazy and that you've been daydreaming for the last year or the last however many months and it's like i haven't been daydreaming i've really been working on my shit This could be an energy that's already around as well, I'm hearing. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. I love that because, you know, the Ten of Cups here, I tried to put it back in the deck and it really didn't want to come out. And I'm like, okay, let me flip this card over, see what it is. And it turns out to be the Ten of Cups. And it's like the universe refuses to let you put that dream back in your back pocket to, to ugh, no. The universe is really on your side, Pisces. I'm just so happy because this is amazing. This is amazing.
the universe there's so much universal support i wonder if you guys have been getting into like meditation or spiritual protection i wonder if you guys have been getting into like any sort of you know candle magic working with herbs setting your intention journaling like because i just feel like you guys are so tapped in and connected and pisces you guys do typically honestly effortly have this ability to connect to the divine but Anywho, let's see what's going on in love for Pisces. What's going on in the romance department for Pisces? What are the messages for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? Oh, wow. We got the wedding card that just came out. That's exciting. Oh, okay. All right now. <laughs> I used to go to like a super old school church and they used to be like, all right now. Just like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I don't know why I just thought about that. Oh, memories. Anyways, so we have a wedding. This is the first card that came out for you. At the bottom of this card, it says this situation involves marriage. This is the energy coming towards you. This is the energy already surrounding your life, whether or not you're aware of it, whether you've seen it um, in its masculine state where it's actualized in your life. This is the energy surrounding you. So just be mindful of that. The situation involves marriage, a higher level of commitment being offered to you here a higher level of commitment required for pisces to be happy and this is just like your path this is just like what you deserve this is this is just kind of what it is so we have deception and retreat this is the booby trap this could be someone new that you know f feels threatened by the fact that you're asking for so much in love where it's really just probably bare minimum <laughs> You're probably asking for communication, stability, and love. Oh, what? I can't plan your face? No, you can't. <laughs> but anyways, um, and the universe is saying, listen, retreat from that. You can see the deception. You can see straight through it. Someone is threatened, trying to get you to accept the bare minimum. Just understand that's a decoy and separate yourself from that. When you know, you'll know it's the real deal. A lot of people know when they're going to marry someone. They just know. It's a feeling. It's a knowing. And Pisces, you guys are so tapped in. I honestly don't even feel like you're going to be confused about what this decoy energy is. But depending on if you've really tapped into your strength and if you're feeling kind of weak, you may surrender to this energy and allow it to stick around a lot longer than it should or allow it to kind of take over your life. That would be more the concern versus you being able to see if this is a decoy or not. Um, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship is what it says at the bottom of deception at the bottom of retreat it says it's time to disconnect from the world so the universe is just telling you to pull the plug once that energy comes around be aware that there is you know different challenges kind of stacked around you but do what you need to do once you're faced with those things because you'll know if this is you know someone really worth your while or not so we have getting to know each other in playfulness um, at the bottom of playfulness, it says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. At the bottom of getting to know each other, it says as you reveal your most inner selves um, to each other, your bond deepens. So allow yourself to be playful with someone. Have fun with them, Pisces. Allow yourself to, you know, experience the dating part. Like that's the fun part. Before you realize like, oh, this person likes to eat in the bed or before you realize this person doesn't like to roll the chip bag back down. Before you know people for who they really are, allow yourself to enjoy the fun part instead of knowing like the, the crimes against humanity, the crimes against the chip bags they make every day. Allow yourself to have the fun, okay, first before you're annoyed by this person. You know, a lot of people miss out on the dating part because they just want to get to that that finish line that, yes, like finally, I've, that confirmation that this is my person and they miss everything, the whole confirmation. They miss all of that, you know? Don't miss that. Allow yourself to have fun. Allow yourself to be playful. Allow yourself to truly get to know someone. And someone is very curious about you, Pisces. They want to know everything about you, too. So it's going to be a bit of a slow process, but it's not going to be slow in the sense that someone's playing games. It's slow in the sense that you're slowly, genuinely unraveling each other. You know, it's not like a situation where um, you're dealing with someone who's just, you know, got cold feet or they're on some BS. 
All right, let's see. Ooh, this is an interesting message. We have a lust and wait a little bit longer. The universe is also challenging Pisces to maybe hold on on someone a little bit. Because listen, <laughs> it's simple human nature, okay? If you allow someone to be an F-boy, an F-girl, they're, they're probably going to. Unless they've made a conscious decision that they're not going to, if you lay it out in front of somebody, they may take it, okay? So just challenge yourself to hold back because if you can kind of like, you know, sometimes you just gotta keep people in line. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta keep people in line like, we're not doing that, be good. And then they will, and then you can kinda, you know, keep it pushing. But the universe is asking you to have a little bit of decorum as well, you know? Cause this feels very freeing, it feels fun. Especially with the flirtation happening with the, the playfulness card. <laughs> so make sure you still, um, you know, Keep self-love at the center. Don't disrespect yourself by doing something thoughtlessly. Um, we have clean the clutter and shocked. Interesting. Have a heart and something different. So this is letting me know, okay, so clean the clutter is all about basically kind of solidifying these lessons that you've already learned so like for an example when this person you know comes through this this decoy is coming through and they're trying to convince you to accept lower than what you should this is you know basically like the the stamp the stamp you know you're mailing it off it's done um of this has been completed so the universe is saying have a heart while you're clearing the clutter when you deal with this decoy don't feel the need to like go all feral on them and really get on their ass about their behavior you don't need to be the teacher you just need the person like you just need to basically show yourself show the universe that you're ready to move on because moving forward this is all about you pisces this is kind of a bit of a solo journey here being that so much is being given to you so it's it's you know you don't have to be that person that tells people i mean you can you know speak your mind but just don't just be careful about being overly aggressive make sure you have a heart um you don't want to create further karma for someone by doing too much or being too mean just because they're you know being sleazy or whatever we have something different and shocked so tapping into that energy i feel like you're going to really be surprised by the turn of events coming up for you i feel like you're going to be surprised at how things end up working out and going and you're going to look back at this moment in your life like whoa that was a freaking roller coaster but it was fun and you're going to be surprised and grateful for everything that you've gotten out of this period of time but that's what's going on for you guys this week, Pisces. That was your message. Check me out on Etsy in the description if you'd like your own private tarot reading. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also check out my free radio show. It's another way to connect with me. I love you, Pisces. Be careful what you wish for. And I will see you in the next one. Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description.